Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we'll see how to install MEMP on Mac OS. Regardless, you are doing M1 or M2, it would work similarly. So come to this MEMP info and then slash en slash Mac. Over here, you need to go ahead and click on this download button and it'll auto start the downloading. Okay, now my downloaded file is saved over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. So after double clicking it, it's unzipped and now I'm gonna double click again and then I'm gonna say yes open and then click on download so this one is actually going to install the related mem packages libraries and everything that it make your server up and running so it may take a bit of time depending on your internet speed once the file is downloaded here we're gonna go ahead and just click continue continue and um, one of them we have to agree with the license and then it's gonna start installing now this should be your mac password and it's done since it's done we're gonna remove that it's done and then we're gonna go ahead and find our map it should be somewhere in our dashboard so here we see go ahead and click on that it's gonna start okay and that's it it started now the one that we are going to use is the free version and i think that's enough for our project in this case and most of the time it's enough for any kind of Laravel project I would say that now if you do use their paid version what it does you can manage multiple sites much better but we don't need that so now here uh, we can go ahead and click on this and once you see this it is actually working and then over here you can also click on micro mysql you can click on this so it's gonna open up PHP my admin that means that actually it's working now to verify this another way you can also here type in index.php and if you see this that means that it's already working so now PHP is up and running now PHP and MySQL they are both up and running remember over here you'll see that you can start and stop so we can stop the server of course if you stop the server and you click on that it's not gonna work so in that case you can go ahead and run it and another thing that I'm going to show to you that some customized sections for example over here you have this preferences so you should be clicked all of them okay and then here you have ports so these are the default ports you should not change them but if you do change them, make sure that you reflect in your um, PHP file in other places, okay? All right, so different kind of MySQL version. Now, to create this project, we need to go ahead and open up our terminal, and we need to navigate to this folder, and it is in Applications Map and HDDoc. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, so this is our terminal over here. Now, inside the terminal, we're going to do CD Applications, okay? And then here we do cd um, i think we just slashed out okay and then here we could do m a m map all right and here we go so inside this here you see there are different files the folder that we want to go to is this one so we're going to navigate to st docs so here st docs all right and ls so there's just one file all right, but we want to actually go ahead and uh, create a Laravel project inside this. So that's why we're gonna run composer create project Laravel Laravel U learning app. So this is our app name, Laravel app name. You can name it anything you like, it doesn't matter. So now we're gonna hit enter so it's gonna download our Laravel and related packages so it's done so anyway here we could do PHP artisan serve okay now looks like it's not there of course it's not there because you see that we have here you learning app so we need to go inside that CD dot you learning app and then here we can run this command and it's gonna open up our server now one of the server is already running because I'm running multiple sites so here this one so I'm going to go ahead and copy this once I copy this I'm gonna put it here okay and we see that this is our Laravel server okay so this is the server that up and running 